Hi, I'm Katie and in this video I'll continue playing a visual novel called Scarlet Hollow. This is episode 4, let's continue our story. So, uh, what was that about? He seemed pretty insistent on talking to you alone. Yeah, he didn't say anything weird, did he? Nosy, aren't you? Let the man have his privacy. He just wanted to talk about our shared gift. Everyone in this town is so mean to him. He's a nice guy. Tulips apparently made some weird imaginary friends. We might want to check it out later this week. Remain silent. Well, I don't think it is a secret, so uh, this is not... If I say this, it won't give away too much personal information about anyone, so I'm gonna say this. Tulips apparently made weird imaginary friends. We might want to check it out later this week. <laughs> Both of their expressions. <laughs> Kids make up imaginary friends all the time. Pastor Daniel says that... There's rat infestation in the church, and that the rats are her friends. I don't know, it seemed weird. I should have known we'd have to deal with a spooky kid at some point. <laughs> okay, as much as I'd hate going back there, I guess that's a loose lead. If we don't have anything else to investigate once we found Stella and... Kanika pauses. Once we've checked out the clinic, then maybe we can look around the church. Sounds like a plan. Let's not get too distracted until we find Stella, though. Where to next? Okay, let's go to Stella's house. We should go to the cops, right? Check in on Oscar... Tiner minds. I'm supposed to get tea with your mom today. Maybe she'll have some ideas. All the other options we have are explore options. Honestly, none of these would be the kind of places where I would go to find Stella. <laughs> I mean, when we were near the Askina Trail, she said that that is the place where she goes when she needs to figure out things or when she needs to think. So that would be my guess, but I don't think she's at the mines, but I'm very curious. There is strike going on. I would really like to see what's actually happening in the mines, though Tabitha probably doesn't really like the idea that I would go there. Let's check the easy places first. Let's check out the diner. Good idea. Folks tend to congregate there. Maybe we'll run into someone who's seen Stella. Here's hoping Winnie doesn't try to rope me into clocking in early. Let's see. Just some miners in here. Just miners and Winnie, apparently. It feels like you walked into a private meeting. The back booth is full of miners and they're having what seems to be an intense discussion. Their expressions gravely serious. What's going on? There's a strike up at the mines. They've made the diner their base of operations. Has Winnie spoken before? Oh my goodness, I can't remember what voice I gave her. Oh no! Okay. When you asked for the morning off, I didn't think you'd be showing up with friends. Sorry, Aunt Winnie. Stella's gone missing and I've been helping these two track her down. 
You haven't seen her, have you? Don't you apologize now, and I can't say I have. Should I be worried about her? I hope not. We are not interrupting anything here, are we? Course not. Any paying customer is welcome. Long as you aren't about to step on anybody's toes or cause a fuss. The miners in back were too engaged in conversation to notice you enter. Instead of speaking in hushed voices, argue with each other loudly enough for you to easily overhear. I can't remember which one of these was Harrison. Oh no. I mean, she kind of looks like she's talking and they are listening. Let's hope she's Harrison. Sure, their shift schedules are tough, and sure, we don't get enough time off for me to see my family as often as I'd like, but this is the best job I can get right now. Listen, kid, you're only a year or so into this gig. Trust me, the longer it goes on, the more it sucks the life out of you. At first, you're just unhappy. But you think you can weather it till you find something better. A paycheck's a paycheck, I get it. But the next thing you know, you've lost years of your life to a company that doesn't give a solitary shit about you, that uses up every free second it can suck out of its workers and pays us just enough to survive, but not so much that we can ever save enough to get the hell out. Jax, we could get fired for this. I really need the paycheck. My sister needs the paycheck. I'm the only reason she can afford her tuition right now. I can't get fired. And this job still has its perks. Like the company housing? I can't afford my own place and send money back home. I don't know where I would live if I didn't have this job. Right, the company housing. How generous of the big boss to put you up in that company-owned shack that ain't had a proper maintenance done in decades. You know she uses that housing as an excuse to pay us less. And the company housing that means almost nobody in this whole damn town owns the place they live. It's why the Scarlets can keep getting away with whatever they want. Jax, we don't have the numbers, man. You know this is risky. Riskier than most of us can afford. We would have the numbers, if you all would stand with me and not let management scare tactics get to you. It's not scare tactics. People like her now. That woman ran into a collapsing coal mine and saved three children from being buried alive. I feel you, I really do, but how are we supposed to organize a strike against a town hero? They think her as the town hero now? Are you trying to tell me that a mine collapsing less than two days ago is why you don't want to strike? It's a bad time, Jax. It's always a bad time, Baker. It doesn't matter whose name is on the deed for the place. Without us, there is no mine. We've got them against the ropes. We can't back down now or they'll come out swinging. Hey, have any of you seen Stella? She's missing. Way in on Barker and Harrison's situation. So about the strike. I guess we should get going. Turn and leave. <sighs> about the strike. I'm gonna ask about Stella. 
She is, after all, why we are here. Hey, have any of you seen Stella? She's missing. The miners turn towards the doorway, all eyes glaring at you in unison. The YouTuber? We ain't seen her. Harrison's voice drops to a barely audible mumble. I hope she's okay. I don't think it's my job to weigh in on Baker and Harrison's situation. So, uh, about the strike? We all know who you're related to, kid. Word travels fast, and I'll be damned if we talk business in front of you. If the mine fails, none of you are even going to have jobs left to strike over. Look, I support you guys, but maybe you can save this until next week. Tabitha's mom just died. This whole strike thing is hardly fair. I may be the boss's cousin, but I support the strike. Do you think I like Tabitha? You've met her, right? Let me promise you that our blood relationship means nothing. I don't actually have a horse in this race. I didn't even know Scarlet Hollow existed until a few days ago. Maybe I can convince Tabitha to back down. I'm not a snitch. Drop it. Mm. Honestly, this. Everything happening at the same time. Perhaps I can make them think a bit by saying this. I mean, clearly they have right to go on strike. They have all the right in the world to be striking. And their working conditions could be better. This much is pretty clear. But this also is true. Look, I support you guys, but maybe you can save this until next week. Tabitha's mom just died. This whole strike thing is hardly fair. She's having a hard time. Oh, she's having a difficult week. Is that why she's forcing her workers to go back into the mines not two days after a collapse? But it wasn't the mine you are working in. It was another mine that is out of use. Why would you not go back to work? in another mine. I mean, clearly the mine which collapsed was unsafe, and it was clearly marked that it was unsafe. And still people went inside, and the mine collapsed. Why would that affect all the other mine entrances, other shafts? Hmm. Look, I'm iffy on the timing myself, but the Scarlets have taken advantage of folks for a long time. You can't blame people for wanting to do something about it. I'm not blaming people for wanting to do something about it. They have all the right to do something about it. But this week, I mean, my character does not know enough about the mines or the family business in order to weigh in on this. Also, Tabitha kind of told me to stay out of it to mind my own business, so I will respect her wishes. I guess we should get going. You turn and leave the diner, Avery and Kanika trailing close behind you. Still no sign of Stella. Mm. Let's go to Stella's house. Okay, let's go to Stella's house. Oh, have you all not checked Stella's place already? I was too nervous to go anywhere by myself this morning. In case I run into any other horrors from beyond the veil. So, no. And I'm gonna feel really silly if she's just asleep in bed. You make your way towards Stella's house. 
Just checking how everything looks like. Okay. Why is the last house look so ominous? <sighs> Kanika knocks anxiously on the door. What? It creaks open. What? Street smart. This doesn't look like a break-in. It looks like somebody left the door open. Stella or someone else was in a hurry when they left. I can't take this. I can't take this scary music and the door that is not locked and Kanika's and Avery's worried faces. She's dead. Stella died and this is all my fault. Wow. Let's not jump into such drastic conclusions yet, okay? I'm not from around here. Is it normal for people to leave their doors open? Um, uh, okay. Let's ask this. I'm not from around here. Is it normal for people to leave their doors open like that? I've left my patio door open on occasion. Usually when I'm home, but I've had squirrels take that as an invitation one too many times and bust in to take a few bites out of my plants, so <gasps> you have plants! Awesome! So even I keep my doors closed. It's bad enough that they go after everything in the community garden, but to come into my house and help themselves to my precious leafy babies? Oh, I think Avery's gonna have so many plants and that's awesome. The squirrels of Scarlet Hollow are my only true enemies. <laughs> and Stella would definitely know better than to leave her door wide open like this, especially considering the ditchling situation. Might as well invite ourselves in, right? Yeah. We should go in if something has happened, if she's sick or she has hurt herself or something. We should totally go in. Cool, I'll be brave and go first. Avery casually steps over the threshold into Stella's house. Okay, I wonder whose house this is. Mm -mm. Okay. Whatever happened to Stella, it doesn't look like it happened here. Let's take a look at our surroundings. What do we see? Richmond. This was Stella's parents' house before they passed away. It says princess here. There are many photos, images of dogs. Oh, I think these are her parents. And this is Stella when she was just a kid. Oh. Ways are these? These are boots which have spider webs on them. Ones look like they are bigger and ones look like they are smaller and these clearly are Stella's shoes. Could these be the shoes of her parents? Why would they still be here? Doesn't look like there was a struggle or anything. Unless it happened in another room. Or maybe someone or something caught her off guard. Hey, let's not assume anything yet, okay? You didn't have to add that last part. I'm going to forget that you said that and just be thankful that this doesn't look like a crime scene. Investigate the kitchen, investigate Stella's room. Okay, I don't think we're going to find much else here, let's move on. 
Leave, let's investigate Stella's room. Um... Um... You make your way down to the hall to what you assume to be Stella's room. I'm gonna quickly take off the text box so that we can actually see this place a tad better. It looks like her computer is still on. I mean, there seems to be a slight orange glow here. I'm s assuming this is part of her setup, so... This looks like it is a map of the area, and this kind of might be cryptids, cryptid cases, but why has she also pinned them on her wall? Old lassie, old treats. <laughs> old treats, probably. Okay, dog cookies and some kind of cryptid plushie. Cans of soda or something. Um, this looks like a very nice and comfy chair. Perhaps she has been reading a book there and I think this is a dog bed. Perhaps this one too. And there is a plushie that looks a lot like Gretchen and some crystal or rock formation. Really cool pinup photos. What is that? Is that a head and are those arms? Like... What on earth? Okay, this looks like one of those um, old posters where there is this, I don't know, goddess of beauty. Was it Aphrodite or someone? And then there is this shell that she's standing on. So I'm assuming that this is also some sort of classical art poster. This is one hell of an impressive wardrobe, I gotta say. It looks like she has many post-it notes on her computer screen. And I am assuming this was once a tea mug. Plenty of boxes here and there. Perhaps she has been ordering stuff in or something? She's not here. Though it's a little untidy, it's the usual sort of untidiness that accumulates when someone doesn't often have guests in their bedroom. There aren't any signs of violence. Yeah, I was thinking the same. Check her computer! Yes, I'm glad that that is an option, though it would be very nosy and improper to check her computer. Though I did make a nosy character, so... I love seeing someone's room before they've had a chance to clean it up for company. It's a neat little snapshot, you know. This sure looks like a room, any thoughts? It's a mess. Do you think there was a struggle in here? I don't think there's any clues here. Remain silent. Um... I'd like to check her computer. I know these are private things and she has probably password protected her computer. So I probably won't be able to do anything with it anyway. But let's try. You go to check Stella's computer. Uh, I'm not sure we should be snooping on her computer. Isn't that an invasion of privacy? We already broke into her house, right? For all we know, there could be some sort of clue on there. Like a note detailing exactly where she is. We didn't break into her house. The door was left wide open. Well, maybe the computer was left open too. I'm with Avery. What if we don't find Stella and it's all because we didn't snoop on her computer? If Stella didn't want us to snoop, she shouldn't have gone missing. I don't make the rules. <laughs> okay, but what if she's been gossiping about us to her online friends? 
Look, I know it's an invasion of privacy, but we got to do whatever we can to find her. Let's see if it's password protected before we make a fuss about it. Mm, this. If there isn't a password, it's almost like she wants us to snoop. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but we definitely should check if it's password protected first. Kanika's got a point, Avery. There probably isn't even anything worth finding on there. You're no fun, but fine. <laughs> we won't snoop around on Stella's computer. No, no, Kanika's right. There probably isn't anything helpful on there. I honestly didn't even think about how this might not be a good idea. Good call. Hmm. Quietly back away from the computer. I'd say, let's check if it's password protected. Let's see if it's password protected before we make a fuss about it. If there isn't a password, it's almost like she wants us to snoop. You wake up her computer, it's not password protected. Oh my god! Stella, you're a YouTuber. How is your computer not password protected? I don't think it's that big of a deal. What kind of person is going to come to Scarlet Hollow just to try and break into Stella's computer? What are we doing right now? <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. Kanika sighs. I'll just be over here, standing in the corner, not looking over your shoulder. Let me know if you find anything. <laughs> if there is, I don't know, if, if she left a map open or a location open, then that might tell us where she has gone. Stella's desktop is horrifically cluttered. There are simply too many files and folders to fit on her monitor and they overlap each other in a chaotic multi-layered display. Whoa, how do we find anything on here? You don't, come on, let's go. Look for something interesting. This is my street smart option. Check her open tabs. Check her search history. You're right, this was a waste of time. My first thought was to check her open tabs, but this would be my street smart trade option. <gasps> I took this trade, and if it's gonna be useful, I, I should use it. I mean, I'm sorry, Stella. You scan through folders and file names on Stella's desktop, looking for something, anything that seems like it might be interesting. One folder catches your eye. Boring tech stuff. <laughs> You're no fool. You've seen this folder before. You have this folder on your own computer. Boring tech stuff never contains Boring tax stuff. For that matter, it never contains anything related to taxes, and its contents are never boring. This is my trait. I know this is not morally okay, but I made a nosy character, so I'm just going with it. You open the folder. You're surprised to find it contains carefully mapped out diagram of the Scarlet Hollow Mines, including holes in fences and areas with low visibility. Okay, I just gotta... These are Tabby and Stella when they were younger. They look so happy together and this is why I shipped them! <laughs> This is why I ship them. These two need to get back together. <sighs> There's also a handful of old photos of Stella and Tabitha 
together as teenagers. Tabitha wears an uncharacteristic grin, an authentic joyful smile, and Stella's eyes are somehow brighter, less tired. Both of them seem to be living in a happier time. Okay, I take it back, this is way too personal. I just join Kanika in the corner while you wrap things up. It would take you all day to count the number of open tabs in Stella's browser. So numerous are her tabs that you can't see a single icon. A sea of rounded featureless triangles from Windows Edge to Windows Edge. Wow. <laughs> Her most recently open tab is a post on Uncle Carl's Bigfoot Farm, a forum for cryptozoology enthusiasts. The post in question is titled Something Big is Happening in Scarlet Hollow. Hidden Appalachia. Hey everyone, was out chasing a skunk? Wait, wait, wait. I think this is written by Stella. Yeah, because they say, hey everyone, I was out chasing a skunk ape sighting the other day, and I found these weird little guys. My friend's mom says there's something called ditchlings, but I've never heard of them before. Anyone have any good leads? Bride of Bigfoot. Camera isn't shaky enough. This is totally staged. Clean footage and some sort of cryptid nobody has heard of except for your friend's mom. The only thing I'm seeing when I google ditchlings is some city in England. Thought you were legit. Guys, since when did high quality footage count as any other than actual evidence? Those things are terrifying. Since every low-budget horror movie started doing guerrilla marketing, I smell an ARG. I'm serious, I've got a ton of extra footage. Look at what they've been doing to the animals in town. They're apparently some sort of bad omen, like Mothman. Okay, I'm listening. I love me and Mothman. I believe you. Lucky you're falling right into her lap. I don't trust YouTubers. They're entertainers, not scientists. Sick. The threat continues into the next day. Hey, okay, so one, this isn't an arc I would never. And two, you're not going to believe this, but we went into an abandoned mine last night to investigate things and I'm pretty sure we found some Tommy knockers. Listen to this knocking we managed to catch on tape. There's a link to an audio file titled Tommy knockers real dot w a v. Just because you put the word real in your file name doesn't mean they're real. I honestly can't remember what voices I gave to these random nicknames on the internet so they probably have very different voices so just try to deal with it i'm doing my best here <laughs> two supernatural event on back-to-back -back nights this is so fake i can't believe i bought into that river runner hype you're so full of it youtubers are always going to sell out to big indie horror this is kidnapped by aliens all over again. I also lol doffy white things are now loud popping noises. This is definitely an arg. Did you sell out to Billsbury? Stop cyberbullying her or I'm going to call the mods. Locking this thread and giving everyone a seven day ban. No cyberbullying and no soft promo. The thread ends. This is a waste of time, let's get out of here. 
Phew, good. There was no map, there was no clear trail to follow, but it is obvious that she is being harassed a lot. Not only by certain citizens living in Scarlet Hollow, but also in her other circles in, in the web. Some of those comments were really, really rude, but I also can understand people not buying weird camera footage and audio file. <laughs> so, the plot thickens. Mm, these options I read already. Um, this sure looks like a room. Any thoughts? I think you about summed it up. This is definitely a room. Yeah, nothing much to comment on. This is what her room's been like for pretty much the entire time I've known her. The only thing that's changed is the computer getting a lot fancier. It could use a few more houseplants. I'll put together some trimmings after we found her. So you do have houseplants, I'm so happy, I guess, Rard. <laughs> oh, she still does those corkboard with string things. She loves putting the strings on there. I don't think they actually mean anything, but they're more for decoration anyway. Let's investigate the kitchen. Stella's kitchen is slightly messy. A couple cabinets are hanging open and a loaf of bread sits on the counter by a used butter knife. Why would she leave her bread package open like that? I mean, all the pieces are gonna dry out. I mean, this does look like she left in the middle of something. Oh, look at the cutie portrait of Gretchen. I mean, it looks like a lovely kitchen. Is Della's kitchen normally this messy? I mean, it's... Come on, just... This? This is not messy. I've seen much worse, you know? Looks normal to me. Remains silent. <laughs> um, I don't think this looks normal. I mean, uh, she said that she was into cooking those um, snack recipes. I'm not sure how much of a cooker she is otherwise, but why would she leave her ingredients like this? But I guess as much as we know of Stella, it does look normal to me. I don't know, it's a little messy. If this is a little messy, I don't want to know what you'd call my room. I wasn't judging. There's nothing wrong with a little mess. <laughs> or a lot of mess. We're getting off track. Stella's house has always felt a little sterile to me. This feels a little too lived in, if that makes sense. Though maybe that's just because I've only ever been here when she was already expecting me. Maybe this is just a rare peek behind the curtain of the real Stella. The real Stella should call her friends and let them know she's okay. Okay, I don't think we're going to find much else here. Let's move on. Or leave. Let's choose this option. Okay, I don't think we're going to find much else here. Let's move on. Okay, so maybe she came home last night. Maybe she didn't, but she's definitely missing. Yeah. I thought I was overreacting this morning. I hoped she would be just sleeping in. I can't believe she's actually missing. We'll find her. Where to next? We should go to the cops, right? Oh yeah, these are the same options. 
I probably should choose explore options before this one, right? I mean, this would be the one I would really, really want to choose, but the game said in the beginning that these are the kind of options that might not be available to us that long, so... Let's check the library if she might be there searching for more information on things or who knows. We should check in on Oscar. He's smart. Maybe he'll know what to do. I hope nothing else happened after we all went home last night. They're so brave for sleeping in that house after everything we went through. I'd rather sleep in the woods with the ditchlings than some place that was that haunted. Your mom said it's safe and I'm inclined to believe her. Why would she lie? But how would she know that? Magic, probably? But there's only one way to find out. Let's go.